and just building on that, as you know, in, in you know, and we're seeing this in the UK in particular, it's this sense of, of connecting and whether it's uh, generations. So how do we get the, the young to be more, uh, to care more for, for the elderly? Uh, we're seeing it in a, in a regional sense. And uh, admittedly, this is more acute in the UK than certainly it is in Canada. But we're you know, going through a terrible situation now in terms of a north-south divide. Um, how, how do we help different communities learn to have empathy for each other and to care for each other? Well, in this strange situation um, of, of, of lockdown, I, I have found in these last months, um, first of all, when in, in March, going back to March, I had many outside engagements, many, many speaking engagements, many engagements up and down the country uh, and across the world. Overnight, they had gone. They were cancelled. Overnight. Okay, fine. So you say, well, there's nothing you can do about that. But what is what is possible now? Well, what was possible now was what the media we're using now. Now, I've been able in the last months to have personal conversations every week with people who have been, for example, uh, who have been hostages. I founded an organisation when I came out of captivity called Hostage International. Hostage UK, which gives support to families and support to released hostages. And um, we have lots of people working in that. But each week, I've been able to have one hour with different people, which is something I couldn't do before because I was constantly travelling, constantly moving. And that's been tremendously creative. So it is all I'm saying is it, that's one particular example. But it's possible through this medium through the medium of the internet, to have um, that degree of contact and to make it warm, to make it human, to make it possible to have that exchange, even if you can't meet physically face to face, it's still possible. It may not be as good as face to face meeting, but it can be very valuable and can take us a long way. So again, we can build up a different type of community uh, if we are limited, and that can be done by the elderly. And there's something to be said, you know, for the elderly. I'm, I'm elderly. I'm 81, <laughs> you know. So I'm one of the I'm one of the old brigade, so to speak. <laughs> and I'm still in contact with plenty of young people and plenty of others on the on the web. <laughs>